What if you could create professional headshots like these in minutes? No studio, no fancy camera, just AI. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Flux AI to generate ultra realistic headshots that actually look like you. So whether you need a new profile picture, a YouTube thumbnail, or a quick blog update, this tool has you covered. And trust me, this is the best AI software I have ever tried. So stay tuned all the way through the end because I'm going to walk you through the entire setup step by step. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so before we dive into the actual tutorial, I wanted to show you some of the ways that I am using AI headshots. The first one is using them on my blog. This was a, such a quick way to kind of give my blog a refresh without having to pay thousands of dollars for a photographer. And the best part, they look like me. I mean, this image looks like me. Now, keep in mind that when you're using this program, I'm using it for headshots, more like professional images for my business, but you could use it for any type of theme. You could create any type of images of yourself, or you could create different types of images just like this one here as well. So I have created a headshot and I have created this beautiful image here within the same program. And if we scroll down on my website, you'll see additional photos of myself. I have this one here waving um, in front of a computer. I have this one kind of like looking down on my phone. I have this one of me sitting down. I have this one of me sitting with a laptop. And then I have another one over here um, kind of leaning forward. So it's incredible how you're able to create all of these images that look like you. And you could train this to create multiple images for a very reasonable price. I also use um, an image that looks just like this one here um, on my social media profiles. I actually updated this yesterday and got so many feedback. Like so many people were saying the image looks beautiful. And I wanted to create a video to be transparent that this is an AI image but I was very surprised at how many people commented. Here is the image that I'm using on all of my profiles across social media. And then I also used it for, obviously, for my Facebook account. And I had the most engagement. Um, everyone was commenting about the actual photo. So I thought it would be great to create a quick video to walk you through the entire process in case you want to create beautiful images like this of yourself. So let me go ahead and walk you through the entire process now. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is head over to fall.ai. And if you don't have an account, you wanna go down here where it says sign up, just follow the prompts and create an account. All right, so once you log into your actual account, this is how it's gonna look. And what you wanna do is you wanna come up here and click on the plus sign and add credits. I started with $20, I have already generated over a hundred images. So $20 will take you a very long way. You could do $10 if you wanted to, you could do $5 if you wanted to. So just go ahead and add the amount that you want. Once you have added the credit, you're going to go to the tab up here where it says explore. And from here, you're going to go down and you're going to select text to image. From here, you're going to go down to this one here, flux DEV. And from here, you're going to click on training because we're trying to train this AI to create realistic headshots. So we're going to click on training and we're going to go to the second one for portraits. And this is really important part here. What you want to do is you want to add at least 10 images of yourself. My recommendation is to do images that you have not added filters. They're natural. They look like you right now. So what I did was I, I uploaded 10 images of myself in the last year that I have saved, like look, selfies that I have. Let me show you my images so you can have an idea. You also have to make sure you name your file correctly in order for this to work. So these are the images that I chose. Um, these are just regular images of myself, as you can see. I did some full body shots here so you could have an idea of how I actually am. Um, just regular images of myself. Some I have light, ma light makeup, some I have no makeup, some I have my mouth closed, some I have my hair pulled back um, completely like this one here or down. 
So I just did 10 images. And when you upload your images, make sure that you name your files like this, a underscore photo underscore of underscore, and then your name. And you wanna make sure that your name is one word. So Nancy Badijo is one word, there's no space. Now, when you add your photos to a folder, you can select all of them, right click, click on rename, and then right here, what you want to do is add that, a photo of Nancy. So A underscore photo underscore of underscore Nancy Badillo. And then you would just click on rename. It will still have those numbers at the end. That's fine. You could leave that there and you are set to go. Now, my recommendation is to save that folder as a zip file. It will be a lot quicker to upload them. Or you could do individually if you want to. But once you do that and you upload your photos, click on start. And from there, you want to take a look at this little progress bar right here. It's going to say in queue, and then it's going to say in progress. It can take up to 30 minutes for the photos to um, be in the back end, for AI to start training itself with your photos. So you might just want to upload this and go do some things and then come back and check. But this is where you will go um, once you, or this is what you need to check to make sure everything has been completed. All right, so once it has completed, you'll see this right here, it says completed. Go ahead and click on run interface. This automatically is gonna open this new window here, and we're gonna go ahead and play with it here. You wanna click on DEV, and this is gonna be where you put in your actual prompt. Now, automatically it has my prompt here or my trigger word, which is Nancy Badillo. And what I did was I just put Nancy Badillo and then I added this prompt. The prompt reads a confident young woman with long wavy brown hair stands in front of a beautiful lit storefront, the warm glow of city lights reflecting in the glass. She's dressed in a stylish modern outfit, wearing a tailored black blazer draped over her shoulders, a light gray jumpsuit cinched at the waist with a black belt and a subtle gold accessories. Obviously, the better the prompt, the better the photo. You don't necessarily have to do all this, just play around with it. Um, but I actually prefer creating a prompt like this because it makes my images better. Now from here, if you click on more, the this here, I just leave it as is. Now this, the guidance scale, the closer this is, like the higher this number goes, the closer the image looks like you. I actually started playing around with it. I've done enough images now, and I feel like around here, around this number is the best for me. I would personally play around with it, make some images down here, make some in the middle, make some up here, and see what images look the best for you. It might look a little bit different than, than mine's. And then once you have your prompt here, you have your trigger word, so it shows you as the as the image that's creating, go ahead and click on run. And it's gonna put it in progress. It takes a few seconds, um, it doesn't take too long. And there you go, it created that image that I just gave it. And I mean, it's pretty, pretty realistic. The only thing I would say in this image um, is that it made me a bit sm smaller, like skinnier than I really am. But in the face, it looks just like me, which is pretty incredible. And you could always change this also, like if you wanted to change your hair color, let's go ahead and play around with that. I have here wavy brown hair. Let's do wavy pink hair just to see what comes up. I haven't done it yet. I did it with like blonde, but not with different colors. So let's go ahead and that's the only thing I changed of the prompt. It might make a different picture. Sometimes it does that. And look at that. I have pink hair. Never seen myself with pink hair. Doesn't look too bad. But as you can see, it created a very similar images to the last one, but with this one with pink hair. So you could definitely change all of this. You could put, um, let's say here, close up, just to see if it creates a little bit more of a close up. Let's see really quickly here. And the $20 or $10 will last you for a very long time. So this is more of a close up which looks pretty, pretty good actually. And this way, if I do a close up, it's not really showing the full body. So it's more true to where I'm at now. 
but I absolutely love it. And then once you have your images here, you could just click on download and then this will automatically download to your computer and you're able to go ahead and use it. As you can see, it is so realistic. I mean, it is pretty, pretty good. I also wanted to mention that when you're running your prompt, when you click on more, you're able to change the actual size of your image. This is where you go. So you're able to click on square, which is 512 by 512. This is more for like your profile picture, like for Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, etc. Then they have the standard square size, 1024 by 1024. They have portrait. Um, they also have landscape. This is really good for like YouTube, but you could also come down here and click on custom and click the size that you need. So it's really nice that you're able to do that and actually have the exact size that you need for whatever project that you are working with. And there you have it. Now you know how to create stunning, realistic headshots using Flux AI. Whether it's for social media, YouTube, or your blog, this tool makes it super easy to get pro quality images without the hassle. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more AI and content creation tips, and let me know in the comments, are you planning to try this out? Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.